this could be a major shakeup in the mayoral campaign just eight weeks before the critical Democratic primary and a woman who says that she was a former intern of now mayoral hopeful Scott Stringer has come forward with allegations of sexual assault that she says happened in 2001. Scott Stringer repeatedly uh, groped me, put his hands on my thighs and between my legs and demanded to know why I wouldn't have sex with him. The latest polls show that Mr. Stringer is among the front runners in this crowded Democratic field in the race for mayor. He's joining us this morning to respond to these allegations. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York, Mr. Stringer. Nice to see you both. All right. Why would she say this? You denied it. Why would she say this? I mean, you would have to ask uh, Jean why she would make these allegations. I'm just here this morning to let you know that they are categorically untrue. They're false allegations. And I'm here to set the record straight as best I can. I do have respect for anybody, a woman, to come forward and make it easy and possible to be in a space to talk about this. I'm here just today to say that this is not true. She claims that she was introduced to you by Eric Schneiderman. And as you know, Mr. Schneiderman has his own problems with sexual uh, abuse. Uh, and um, how is that possible? Because people are now looking just at the appearance of it and thinking this is like the old boys club at work. Well, that's another uh, allegation that's not true. Uh, Jean was part of uh, volunteers, friends uh, in our local Democratic Club, and she volunteered uh, as an adult, uh, as a professional in my campaign, as did all my friends. She was never an intern in any capacity, never paid by the campaign as an intern or an unpaid intern. She never worked in my office. She never, uh, she, she never had any of those positions. And so I'm just setting the record straight on that. So you said this was a consensual relationship. So that's a little foggy to me. What does that mean? Was it a romantic relationship that you were in? I think we, we were in a relationship that was first based on friendship and then it became a little more. But it was consensual every step of the way. That anything like that is just not who I am. And I want to make that clear to everybody. Uh, we had a long friendship. Uh, the friendship uh, got a little complicated when she applied for a job in the controller's race as a campaign person. We did not hire her. She then went to work for my rival, Elliot Spitzer, and then we didn't, uh, we didn't really stay friends after that. So she also claims that you tried to sort of buy her silence in, in a way by giving her a promotion. Is that not true? She never worked for me so that I could give her a promotion. And I wasn't buying her silence because until yesterday, we had never had any discussion even remotely related to those allegations, which, let me just say again, is false. I do believe she has a right to come forward with whatever she wants to say. But I just want to repeat, she was never an intern. She was an adult. She was a campaign contributor to all my campaigns, both through 2001 up to 2013. Uh, she stayed in touch with our office. Um, and she was, you know, a friend until the 2013 campaign when I was running against Elliot Spitzer and she was on the other side. Will we hear from any other women who will say something similar, whether you were single at the time or married? Will we hear, do you think we will hear from any other women? I know that there is not going to be a situation where I'm not going to be able to say that I was in a consensual relationship over the years. Uh, you know, I've dated, I'm married. Uh, I have, we have a wonderful relationship with the most amazing woman in the world, my wife, Elise. Uh, and we have been true to each other. I've been true to her. And that I can tell you uh, in the last uh, many years. And so I don't expect it, uh, but look, uh, I didn't expect this set of allegations. I uh, obviously feel bad about it. I want Jean, Jean to be respected during this process, so I'm not, you know, I don't want to impede what she has to say, but I do have to show where there are inconsistencies, where uh, these statements are false. I do feel that I have to say that as well. 
Now there are some of your mayoral candidate rivals who are calling for you to step aside. Catherine Garcia, Sean Donovan. Um, in fact, State Senator Jessica Ramos, who supported you, is rescinding. Everybody's kind of bringing up that you have called for Governor Cuomo to resign while these allegations swirl around him. What's your reaction to all that? Well, look, I'm uh, not surprised that my uh, worthy opponents uh, would be uh, saying what they're saying. Uh, but look, uh, at the end of the day, uh, the contrast with the governor couldn't be more clear. Uh, he has serious workplace allegations against him. Uh, and my situation, who I am, what I'm about, that is not me. That is not this situation. Do you feel the need to apologize? Look, I would be the first to do that if I did something wrong. Um, I would be the first out of the box. But these allegations are just totally not true. Uh, she was never an intern. She was a friend, and then it became a little more. And as the years went on, she stayed in touch with us. She applied for a job in the 2013 controller campaign, we applied for a job, resume and all, and then didn't get the job and went to work for my opponent. All right. I, I was that happy with her, but you know, but I wasn't that happy with anyone who was not working in my campaign. But I respect her, and I just want people to know that this is not true. Scott, you, you fall back and forth with uh, Eric Adams in the number two spot behind Andrew Yang. And I know you have a, a rather ambitious plan for the city, uh, specifically wanting to talk about transportation. Tell us. Well, today we're going to call on uh, uh, to create a program where for one swipe we could have commuters in New York City who ride the rails, ride the train, to swipe and get on the 41 stations at the LIR and the Metro North. Uh, there are 1.4 million riders. We have a 70% reduction in ridership. I think this would spur uh, people getting back on the rails, using mass transit, which is critical to the economic recovery. And we're going to have a lot of details to say about that proposal later in the day. I'm just wondering also before you go, bail reform, as you know, the city, the crime, the shootings, the murders, everything is up and the police commissioner keeps pointing towards bail reform. I know you support it. Do you still continue to support it? I support it, but look, we do have an uptick in shootings, and we have to go where the shooters are. We have to up the clearance rates at the NYPD. We need to beef up our homicide bureaus. We've, you know, we have an all-time low of actually making arrests right now, and we do have to focus attention on making sure that the people who are doing the shootings in the hotspot neighborhoods, those issues are addressed. And overall, we have got to make sure that our kids stay away from gangs by giving them the programs that work in communities to make sure they have a future. And I have a detailed public safety plan. Uh, so when I become mayor, we're going to be able to engage on these issues. And I think we'll get there. Scott Stringer, we appreciate you coming on Good Day New York, Democratic mayoral candidate and controller. Um, good luck. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Scott.